I had a patient who had a head and neck cancer, was treated multiple times, um, you know, at other institutions, came to see me, had been, um, as I said, tried on chemotherapy, all sorts of different drugs, and he had a squamous cell carcinoma of the head and neck. So we biopsied his tumor, we sequenced his tumor, and lo and behold, what we found is the genes that his tumor was addicted to were breast cancer genes. So uh, we would have never treated him with uh, Herceptin, which is what he ended up getting, uh, and a combination of other breast cancer-related drugs. Uh, but that was seven years ago, and he had tumor that was in his neck, had spread to his lungs, and he had a six-month life expectancy. Seven years later, the guy has no disease, and uh, he still comes to see me, and it shows the promise of being able to do this targeted therapy based on genetic signatures rather than what it looks like under a microscope.